In this video, I'm going to cover the scanner feature of Power SDR KE9 NS version 2.8. So, let's first start by opening the spotter screen and let's turn off uh, turn off some of these features, memories, shortwave. So, let's uh, turn off some of that to minimize uh, what's on the screen. And so let's hit the scanner function. Alright, so there's a few things with this scanner. You can scan for memories, which would be what you put in your memory screen. And I put in like 2 meter repeaters and AM broadcasters and all sorts of stuff in, in my memory. SW, uh, the SWL uh, shortwave, that's this list here, um, which covers quite a bit of shortwave, um, but it's only going to have shortwave stations that are, according to the time, are currently on. And band stack list, which is what you see over here on this right side, that would allow you to start scanning what's in your band stack. Uh, let me just push that and then you can see it now I'm scanning through the band stack until the, uh, until the squelch broke. And I can, I'm in wait on squelch, meaning it's not going to go until there's at least four seconds, according to this, four seconds of non-squelch break. And then it'll progress to the, to the next. Otherwise, I can just hit this button to force it to go past. And, of course, it did it again. And I can just hit this again to stop it, get, you know, get out of it. There's a custom list, uh, which I give you an example. You hit that, you open it. And here's your custom list. So it's going through there. I can hit that to stop. And if you hold your mouse um, over, it'll explain, you know, a little bit of explanation about that. And the um, the next one, like I said, is in the memories. Uh, what? One, let's say, for example, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to look up uh, faxes. Fax. Um, in my memory list if I've got any fax frequencies. There they are. Let's go, how about do the 2 meter. Uh, this is going to have everything. I've got APRS, FTA, but let's do repeaters to narrow it down to 2 meter repeaters. And I can click on any of these and it will throw in any of the uh, all the parameters from the memory list. So if I key the radio, I keyed the repeater. So, uh, but I can hit the scanner, and now it's going to scan down here. If I turn this off, it's going to stop. I can, I can uh, uh, block one out by right-clicking over here. Now it's going to skip this one. So now when I do the scan, uh, it's going to go past. It'll skip over that one. Let's say it's busy and you just don't want to scan it. So somebody's here. I'm going to turn the shortwave listing back on. Uh, let's see, in my um, spotting screen, let's put memories to pan. So now you can see what repeater that is on the screen. And again, if I want to get past it, I just have to unpause it so I can get past that. And we stop it. Now the other thing I can do, let's say I want to, I have a second receiver in here. I'll go back to 40 meters and I just want to put it on the second receiver. I can, right now it's set for RX. If I push down on my mouse wheel like that. Now it goes over here. I'm going to turn on that. Unpause it. So now it's going to be scanning on the second receiver. So just push down the mouse wheel again to stop it. But uh, so you can actually scan on both, and then the same thing up here. I can actually go to a particular by mouse wheel over it, and it'll move me to that repeater uh, in VFOB instead of VFOA if you have a second receiver. So let's get out of there just to make sure we don't confuse anything. And uh, the shortwave list. If I come down to the shortwave list, and let's say um, I've got the shortwave list is going to have lots of faxes on that. Okay, in this case, Halifax is in there. I want to eliminate that, so let's move that over there. Now this lists the the facsimile, weather facsimiles on the shortwave station, so I can hit this, and then let's turn off the second receiver. So it found a fax. Um, 
and again I can go past it if I want to hit unpause and found another one this one oh and then let's turn on the shortwave listing so you can see where the faxes are this one's just being clobbered by a shortwave station so anyway that allows you to do that okay now the last one we can do is let's go to a pick a band uh, 40 meters let's turn off the shortwave listings and let's turn on the spot or let's turn off memories to pan so we don't put the memories to pan on there now uh, I can do a um, SWR plot and right now it's going to do my G5RV if I click on that that's on 10 of 3 is my G5RV uh, I could run up to five plots here we're going to pick plot number one and I'm going to hit this button and then we're going to run a plot of my G5RV on 40 meters and I pick, you can pick the ranges, it's just going to pick the default band uh, for your turf file, but, uh, and then the, the step, uh, every 4 kilohertz, 200 milliseconds, you don't want to do it too fast, you got to give it time to take the reading, give you a consistent reading, especially if your antenna is not really well tuned to the band. Uh, okay, so there, there you go, so now you got um, that whole plot, uh, I can run a second plot at a later date then no that's saved to memory that first plot and uh, you can come back at any time and and let's say uh, you make a change um, I'm gonna flip on can, I'm, I can flip a switch and I can convert my G5 uh, to a ground mounted vertical with radials underneath it by shorting uh, the ladder line and, and make it a ground mounted vertical in, in, in a sense and run another plot and you can see the SWR is crazy. And I can stop it at any time, but it'll it'll remember that, uh, and then I can look at the various plots. So if you think you want to make some changes to your antenna, you can run these plots, and then it saves it for each antenna type. So on the 5000, you've got antenna one, two, and three. The jacks on the back. It'll actually save a whole set of runs for all the bands for every antenna. And uh, right click, it will open up this file here to allow you to uh, view plots remotely uh, anytime you want you can delete those files whatever it's not going to affect it um, the uh, you can change the parameters um, of this you, you know you don't have to have it on these you can narrow it down if you want but basically every band allows you to uh, run a scan and then just turn off the display when you want don't want to display it. If you have multiple, uh, if you turn the display to just pan adapter, or yeah, pan adapter. Uh, so now you should be able to, if there's a second plot, see now however many plots I can go in here and I can view, I can view the two plots that I have data on up to the five plots on one screen, but only when you're in pan adapter mode. I normally run in 80 20. So um, you can only view one at a time, but but that's it. It allows you to do uh, scans from your memories, scans from the SWR file, um, scans from the band stack over here, which every band uh, has the band stack. You hit the green button in order to uh, activate it. So that's what activates it. You could right-click on the band stack if you want a free-floating band, uh, band stack uh, window, uh, in addition to the one that's permanent. And uh, and then the custom list scan, if you want to do a custom list scan. And that's it.